Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you guys are all doing well today. We're going to read from Psalm 109 today, um, from verse 1 through to 4. Um, we, again, we'd encourage you, read all of Psalm 109, 110 um, today. Powerful verses, but we're going to read these four uh, verses and then, and then talk about them together. So it says this, My God, whom I praise, do not remain silent. For people who are wicked and deceitful have opened their mouths against me. They have spoken against me with lying tongues. With words of hatred they surround me. They attack me without cause. In return for my friendship they accuse me, but I am a man of prayer. What's happening in this psalm? This is a psalm of David, who, and, and David finds himself in this place where accusation is coming against him. Where he's got people who are accusing him of things and lying um, about him and to him in a way that is that is containing him in and, and, and crushing him in some way. I don't know about you, but uh, during this time, one of the things that I have been reminded by um, by God is that one of the descriptions that we see of the enemy in the Bible is that he is the accuser of the brethren, the accuser of the brothers, the church. That he comes in, the Bible says, to accuse day and night. And I've been reminded about that as I've been praying and even praying for our church, that the enemy will come in. We see this throughout the scriptures where the enemy tries to tear down through accusation, whether it's right at the start in Genesis in the garden or, or where the enemy tries to accuse God um, to Eve or we, even up to when Jesus is there and the Pharisees are, are trying to come after him and accuse him and say, hey, how can you be a man of God? You healed on the Sabbath. You can't do that. And so there's accusation going everywhere. And I guess my question for you today is, do you, can you recognize any accusation in your life right now? Are there any places, any areas of your heart, of your mind, of your um, life where, where you have sensed or felt words of accusation coming away from the enemy? Maybe it's accusation, I'm a, you're a failure, uh, you're, you're, you're not good enough, you're unlovable, you, you're rejected, people don't like you, you're hopeless, it's impossible for you to change. Maybe some accusation has come your way in this past season. And, and, and I want to remind you that it is the enemy who is the accuser. So what can we learn from this, these first four verses? What's David's retort to the accusation at the end of verse four there? What, what's his response? He says, he says this very simple um, sentence phrase, but it's so important. He says, but I am a man of prayer. What's his response to accusation? His response is to get to the presence of God. His response is to say, hey, yeah, yeah, all these things are coming against me, all these lies, all these, these, these horrible things, these accusations, but I am a man of prayer. And he comes back to the Father. And because David understands something, because of who he is in God, he's been given authority. He's been given authority by the Father in this situation. I want to remind you today, Freedom Church, that God has given you authority over every accusation that comes your way, over every lie that the enemy would try and sow into your life today. He has given you authority to take those thoughts captive and to live in freedom. And so I want to encourage you, read the rest of these Psalms today and go and spend time in prayer with the Father today. Amen.